Why is Infinity set so different and unique? Why is track free much more than just the trackless environment? This is a trackless sample. We have a talent. The talent may be bought and the talent may even have a shadow. But if we want the talent to walk, there we are, see what happens. Because this is a flat surface located in 3D space. And because we have an image coming from that camera, we can see that the shot is all right. The surface is located in the right position, but it is the image going up and down. So this doesn't work. We cannot use walking talents in trackless environment. We need something different. We need a new technique. Hit one, here's when track free comes. Let's bring back the chroma key. Let's go back to new position. This time, I want a second actor active. These, although it seems to be exactly the same as the one we had before, this actor, instead of being a sticker, it's a projection. What does it provide? The first thing we can see is that this actor, as well as the sticker, can have fit shadow, but it can also catch shadows. There we are. This object is casting shadows over the table, the floor, or even other objects like this wood chair here. You can see that this wood chair, if I move it, you can see that the shadow is there. And even if my talent walks, the shadow will move back and forth. The 3D element is really integrated within the set. It's perfectly aligned there. Not only that, we can have this object with volume. I could apply slices, just like this, or even voxels. And still the talent can walk. Let's remove this volume and see how not only this technique works in front, we can move the camera back, still the talent can walk, still it's walking perfectly well and integrated in 3D world, and still, even if we move the camera away from the front axis, just by activating the free walk-in, we can have the talent perfectly integrated. The shadow is casted correctly. The talent is walking perfectly well in the set. Everything is fine. 